this weird looking camera mask has some very interesting properties that solves a very particular problem. Let me show you what it is. This is called a Batonov mask. This is made by a company called Farpoint, who is the sponsor of today's video. More about them towards the end of the video. Batonov mask is used by astrophotographers to more easily focus in on distant stars. It's surprisingly difficult to get a good focus in on a star and forget about using the camera's autofocus, it's never gonna get it right. And I wanna show you how you use this. These come in different sizes depending on your lens. Um, the lens I have here is a 67 millimeter um, adapter at the front. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself any um, filter that will fit the lens. So here I have a um, 67 millimeter protecting lens. There's no actual filtering in this. It's just a piece of glass that you put in front of your lens to protect the front uh, of the lens because these are inexpensive, the lens is not. What you do is you get one of these, again as I said, it's very inexpensive. You get one that then fits and you just click this in like so. There are three taps around the edge. You have to make sure they're all clicked in. And now this sits securely in here. It's not that easy to get out. You can get it out again, also without scratching the lens. I've done that a few times. But it is a little finicky, so I would recommend that you just buy a lens and just have that as your permanent fit in there. So all you do now is you take your lens and you put it out in front of there. You can now screw that on. There you go. And now you have your Batonov mask mounted to your lens. We're gonna go outside in a second, I'm gonna show you how this works. But I just wanna explain what this does. You see, normally when you try to focus in on a star, you would just see a circle, and your point is to try to get that circle into a point, get that as small as possible. It can be quite hard. What this does is you will still see the star, but it will now have lines, streaks going through it, aligned with these slots in the mask. This means if you're out of focus, those three lines is not gonna cross at the same point. But with the mask on now, when, as you focus, when these three uh, lines kind of align and all cross at the center of the star, then you know that you are perfectly in focus towards that star. So let's go out and uh, I'll show you how this works. So let me show you what this focusing process looks like without the mask on. You can see here as I'm, I'm focusing, I'm trying to focus the camera at least, it's difficult to see exactly when the star is at the smallest especially on a small screen like this, and everything is shaking, and, and it's, it's, not, it's, it's not an easy process. Now, let's try to put the mask on here, like so. Now, what you can see here when we're out of focus, you can actually see the mask, the outline of the mask, but as we zoom in, or as we focus in, and we get closer and closer to the right focus, we get these lines going through the star, these like streaks going out from the star, and when all those lines cross right in the middle, like so, we're gonna keep this still, then you know that you are perfectly focused on that star. Now, as I said in the beginning, this mask here is produced by a company called Farpoint, and they are your one-stop shop for everything astronomy and astrophotography. Regardless of whether you are just starting out and you just want a good lens to put in your camera for taking deep sky pictures of nebulas, they got you covered. If you've been in the industry for years and you're looking for like multi-thousand dollar telescopes to, to upgrade, they got you covered as well. They have everything, tracking mounts, filters, masks like this, everything you need, they will get you covered. You can go to farpoint.djway.com and check out their store there. And if you're interested in more astrophotography videos, I recommend you go over and check out my science channel, Cosmic Curiosity. Also, link in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go down, give a like, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.